Here's Jim Pasquale. Yeah, we're back on Sports Center all night with news on Lakers store. LeBron James says he wants to own an NBA team in Las Vegas on the shop. The billionaire said simply, I want a team in Vegas. He's already part owner of Liverpool FC and the Boston Red Sox. He'll enter his 20th NBA season in the fall when the Lakers open training camp. The night's top sounds include the Twins teeing off. The Twins teeing off on Cole, a Bolts game winner. Back-to-back -back national titles for Oklahoma. Mark Robbins has the details. Number three. Hello there, Jim. Let's get things going with the Twins, who decided to get things going in the bottom of the first against the Yankees. And Garrett Cole is heard on... Treasure Island Baseball Network. The 2-2 two -two pitch, a swing and a fly ball into right field and deep. This ball is back at the track, at the wall, and gone! Now Byron Buxton swings and hammers high and deep to left. Back it goes, deep it goes, and gone! Aaron Hicks did not even move in left field. The Twins go back-to-back -back against Cole. And the 0-1 pitch, a line drive into left and deep. Hicks will turn, the Twins do it again! To back to back to start the night at Target Field. A rise to right, Buxton to left, Correa to left. What a start! Number two. On the ice, Mikhail Sergachev picked up a few points in game five against the Rangers. His third one, assisting on the game winner. It heard on 970 WFLA. One point ahead, man. Right Sergachev. Sergachev. Shoots! Sergachev! Same thing. Same. Another goal for Sagachev. It's 2 1 Lightning with a buck 50 left in the third. Number one. Finally, the Sooners crushed the ball late and crushed the hopes of the Texas Longhorns at the Women's College World Series. Beth Bowens has the call on ESPN2. Washington, the grounder to Jennings. Over to first. Oklahoma wins it. And the trophy hunting Sooners track down national championship number six. And yeah, congrats to them. Oklahoma's offense came alive, laid a pair of three-run home runs, beating Texas 10-5, claiming their second consecutive national championship. Sooners have now won six women's college World Series under head coach Patty Gasso, including four of the last seven. Next delivery, and Shohei swings at this one, lifts the ball high, and he hits it deep out in the left center field. And that ball is out of here. He did help his own cause. Here on this Thursday, it's showtime. No doubt the 14-game losing streak is over for the Angels. Angels Radio AM 830, and it was Shohei Otani that led them to the finish line. Seven stellar innings on the mound. That two-run home run and a 5-2 win over the Red Sox. One-two pitch. Swing and fly ball out to center. Deep back, Taylor. Still back, and Bryce Harper with his second home run in as many days. His 15th of the season. Sports Radio tonight for WIP. Bryce Harper goes deep. Interim manager Robbie Thompson can't lose. Streaking Phillies won their season high seven straight. 8-3 over the Brewers. Thompson 6-0 since replacing the fire. Joe Girardi off to the best start by a first-time big league manager since 1988. The central leading Brew crew have lost a season high six straight. Max Fried, six straight decision won by the lefty. Six sharp frames. Braves earned their eighth, eighth consecutive win. 3-1 over the Pirates. So the Mets lead the division, but Atlanta and Philadelphia behind them riding eight and seven game win streak. Shane McClanahan allowed two hits over eight. Nine Ks. Ray sweep the cards 2-1. Steven Strasburg gave up seven runs in his return from a one-year absence. Marlins 7-4 over the Nats finish off a three-game sweep. The Fish had been 0-12 in 15 games started by Strasburg since May of 2015. Of course, it is Game 4 NBA Finals tonight. Our coverage comes your way at 8 Eastern. Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max talking finals. Monica McNutt on at 7.30 Eastern. Patrick Beverly on the show at 8.45. Jeff Van Gundy at 9.10. Yes, the NBA Finals are on ESPN Radio. Tune in Game 4 tonight. Celtics play host to the Warriors up 2-1 in the series, and it is presented by Indeed. Coverage begins at 8 Eastern on most ESPN Radio stations, and digging into his inner Rudy Tom Donjanovich, Clay Thompson says don't question his team. They just outplayed us Game 3. I mean, there's no way around it. That's 
and we're gonna, you know, the best part about the playoffs is how you respond, and never underestimate the heart of a champion, and we have a lot of those. Yeah, they have won championships, and no doubt. Keyshawn J. Will and Max this morning talking NFL as well. David Kaplan on at 6.30 Eastern. Jeremy Fowler at 7.15. And how about the National Football League? And how about the possibility of Baker Mayfield potentially playing for the Browns this season? Might it happen, Ryan Clark? It's about Baker Mayfield already feeling a certain way because he does feel mistreated. He does feel disrespected. The Cleveland Browns clearly saying we are moving on from you, who used to, who was our first overall pick four years ago, and I think Baker Mayfield inside that locker room will not work. I think there will be too much tension. There will be too much, uh, too much going on between team, player, players, an executive. And so when you have that type of feel and when you know you're looking at a dead man walking as being one of Baker Mayfield's teammates, that's not a that's not a situation or that's not the type of uh, the type of chemistry you want heading into football games. And I agree with you, Keith. That can't happen. They can't do it. But I believe the issue is other teams know that as well. Yeah, Mayfield has not been at any Browns team activities during the off season here. The 49ers trying to Make things right with Debo Samuel, his coach Kyle Shanahan on that relationship. I don't think the relationship was ever um, too far away to not get it back to normal, and I think we're working on that. Anytime you're away from each other for a while, um, that's always harder, but um, it's good to get him back in here and uh, start getting him around the guys again. Yeah, Debo Samuel looking for a long-term deal. Nothing has been struck as of yet with the 49ers, but they will not trade him. Wyndham Clark uh, started the week with a late charge on his way into the U.S. Open qualifier and then stayed hot Thursday. RBC Canadian Open, 7-under, 63. He has the first round lead and you know what the PGA said on this day with regards to players that play and that live golf tournaments if you do that you don't play in the PGA so give up your card thanks for staying up all night for producer Nick Carty and technical director Jared Hughes I'm Jim Basquell again tune in game four NBA finals tonight the Celtics play host to the Warriors up 2-1 in the best of seven. Our coverage begins at 8 Eastern on most ESPN radio stations. And, of course, the health of Steph Curry will be a major storyline coming in. They'll look ahead at Game 4 with Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max next. Coming up next, Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max on ESPN Radio. <gasps> Only one sale.